you. Hello everyone. Today's our official, officially our first full day at the Disneyland Resort. We're very excited. We're finally gonna go do the Haunted Mansion. We haven't done that at all. We're gonna go see Deadpool. Very excited to see the, that show. We haven't seen it at all. It's been months since it's been out. And we're gonna go check out Buzz Lightyear. The new photo thing they do at the end is a lot better. So let's go check it out. The kids left me, Michelle left me. They're going to the park right now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we did better the second time around. How's everybody doing this morning? Yeah, very good. Are we excited for story time? Yeah! Come on, shout out the name of your favorite story. Go! What? Whoa, what was that over here? <laughs> Walking, with Walking with dinosaurs. I wish I could do that. Yeah, but I can't. They just won't give me that much budget. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we're going to go with, I, I think I heard this, but if I didn't, I'll pretend I did because it's what my manager scheduled. This show <laughs> is a personal favorite of mine. It's a beloved bedtime classic mashed up with a very profitable licensing agreement. <laughs> this story is Cinderpool. <laughs> Good. You are all so much better than my first two crowds of the day. <laughs> now, they wouldn't cheer for anything. It was like pulling teeth. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what gets you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once upon a time, you know, it just feels wrong doing it with myself. We should all say those magical words together. Ready? Once upon a time. Meh. <laughs> I'll just do it myself. Once upon a time, Cinderpool lived in a big mansion with his step professor and step mutants. The biggest of those step mutants, Colossus, was always making up silly rules around the house. He would say things like, stop writing your initials on other people's leftovers in the fridge. And for the love of Feige, stop Donald ducking around the house. Put some <laughs> pants on. What is wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, the other main step mutant, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who has two fans here today. <laughs> Yeah, she was always texting and rolling her eyes. She was so Gen Z. <laughs> Both of these step mutants were very jealous of Cinderpool because Cinderpool had a much, much larger fan base than they did. <laughs> yeah, Colossus' show got closed in a week. <laughs> One day, an expendable non-union extra went running in front of the mansion, screaming. King Thanos was holding the biggest battle of phase three. <laughs> and we all know that was the last good phase. <laughs> yeah. Cinderpool desperately wanted to go to that battle, but Kobasa said, No, <laughs> it is too dangerous, and you are not a good part of the team. Then he ripped apart Cinderpool's favorite costume, and Negasonic blasted it with her powers. It was so cool. It was so Gen Z. It was so on fleek, no cap, Sigma, Skibbity, Ohio. <laughs> oh, that hurt me to do. Oh, uh, Cinderpool was devastated, vulnerable, and exposed as he stumbled across the mansion grounds, weeping, desperately trying to earn an Oscar. <laughs> but then he looked up and saw, beginning to form, a magical golden sparkle circle. <laughs> and out of that sparkle circle, as a total and complete surprise, not given away by the jingling, <laughs> stepped his fairy, hairy god mutant, 
out of the circle. <laughs> Set, you have to go through the circle, Wolverine. They don't know you're here. Let's go. Fly, fly, fly. Wolverine! <laughs> <laughs> So glad you're here, Wolby. It's such a pleasure. We were all so very gotten in, Wolverine. I desperately wanted to go to the big battle, but my mean stepmutants destroyed my pop. Shut up! He said lovingly. <laughs> what? I'm telling the story, Wolby. My costume's been destroyed. I can't go to the battle without it. You're my fairy god, Newton. Use your magic wand and do something to a pumpkin. I'm not gonna do anything. To a magic wand and a pumpkin. No, just get another costume then. And stop writing me into these stories. <laughs> well, with that sage and mildly Australian life advice, Cinderpool ran to the wardrobe department, grabbed a new, freshly laundered costume, and headed to the big battle. He missed most of it because he was waiting in the virtual queue trying to get tickets for Oogie Boogie Bash. <laughs> yeah, but they were sold out, so I won't be going, not in costume. But when he got to the battle, the Avengers were winning! <laughs> Captain America looked so good in those pants. <laughs> right, Cinderpool so looked for his fairy god, Mutant Wolverine, who was... I'm going to the Pims. I can't do this. All right. Well, thanks for coming, Wolby. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Disney didn't have the rights to him at this point anyway. <laughs> Cinderpool surveyed the battlefield, and he saw right there on the stairs of the alien ship a single glove. He went over and picked that glove up. Wait at this camera. <laughs> I hope you go viral. <laughs> it was a beautiful glove, gold encrusted with colorful jewels. There were six of them. I don't know if that's relevant. He said, I wonder who this glove fits and put it on. After a bunch of buzzing, whirring, and clicking, it was a perfect fit. But then all the Avengers look over and they start screaming. No, Cinderpool, take that thing off. You're going to hurt yourself. Thor started crying! Uh -huh. And all together they said, Cinderpool, do not snap! So we know what Cinderpool did. <laughs> That's right, Cinderpool snapped. Both physically and mentally, does it all the time. Just keeps snapping too. People are disappearing, reappearing. There's dogs falling out of the sky. It was really expensive for the VFX department. But eventually Cinderpool stopped. Everybody was back. And Cinderpool was the hero who saved the universe! <laughs> then, all the Avengers tackle Cinderpool to the ground, rip the glove off of his hand, blah blah blah, years later when they remake the film, they AI Tony Stark's head on my beautiful body, <laughs> and it goes on to become the most profitable film in the Feige universe, the F.C.U. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Because Cinderpool goes on to start his own film franchise, which breaks box office records. <laughs> and then they were forced to invite Cinderpool back to the <laughs> Avengers Endgame 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, is the true story of how Cinderpool became the belle of the Avengers Ball. <laughs> so much for joining me for that story. I know we went wildly off the rails from Cinderella there in the middle, but I think we had a good time. I'm going to go take my state mandate at lunch now, so thank you for joining me here for story time with Deadpool. Yeah, I love most of you. Those of you who I don't, you know who you are. All right. That was so cool. I can't wait for the movie. So we are in line for Mickey's Trick and Treat show, which I'm kind of excited because we didn't get to go to Oogie Boogie. They usually only show this show during Oogie Boogie Bash nights. And I found out they give a candy out at the end of the show which they didn't do the last two times, three times we were here during Oogie Boogie. So I want some candy, I'm very hungry. I need some sugar. Woo! 
party people, make some noise! Hey everyone, my name is Parker, and I'm so excited that you all are joining us for Mickey's Trick and Treat Party. Now, I am just mad about Halloween. How about you? All right. It's so good to see you. Yep, that's the best part of Halloween. Getting together with friends. Yeah, awesome costumes, you two. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, Goofy! <laughs> Why, pals? Am I late? <laughs> Goofy, welcome to our party. Well, first, we have to tell our spooky story. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that pork chop was so delicious. We did a video on it. Pretty dang pork, good pork chop in my opinion. It was mommy's birthday when we went, huh? Yeah, she got disappointed. She was very disappointed on her food choice. Not my fault. Let's check out the new photo. High definition. Ooh, it is a lot better. Let's find our face. Holy heck, it looks a lot better. You're rank 100, though. Fancy. That is not right. That was not my score. Yeah, you got like 108,000. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> that's funny. But that looks nice. It's been what? How long has this ride been here? Since 1998? 1998. And they finally updated the photo. And Lydia Noah. Lydia and Noah. Lydia Noah too. What huh, the heck? Weird. I got more hair than that. You did? Oh, it looked cool yeah. though. It looked fancy, yeah. awesome. I got it with free. So I got pollo asado, half a chicken. This is a lot. Very exciting. I'm very hungry. Has this always been on the menu? I don't think so. Has it? I don't know. Well, we're at the Rancho de Zocolo at Disneyland now. No, I got a taco. Mommy got a beef burrito. Lydia got carne asada fries with beans the and a spicy. The sauce has a kick. Holy hell. Take some Lydia, take it up. That beans makes it hard to eat. <laughs> the cheese does have a little kick. And I am done. I'm finished. It was good. Very good. Uh, I need a thing. <laughs> Michelle likes her uh, chicken fajitas. Oh, is it beef fajitas? They don't have that no more. But yeah, she, yeah, they don't have it here no more. But it looks like Michelle ate her whole burrito, wet burrito. Lydia's still eating her kind of solid fries, which I can tell she does not like it. She doesn't like that baked there's beans. beans. She doesn't like baked beans. You got baked beans. <laughs> She, she's very plain Jane. Noah, almost gone, but I don't think he likes it. But yeah, I am very happy with the menu here. So we are at Pooh's Corner, and the kids have found Tigger and Winnie the Pooh's hats. These are awesome and $40. $40. $40. Lucy, Noah. I'm sad, yeah. Lydia, let me see you. Oh, Tigger. T I double girl. How do I look? I think I think that. Those things are awesome. Okay, not awesome. They're cute. Look at myself. Can I get Feeling one? yourself. Can I get one? <laughs> yeah, so daddy's got to work overtime to get those hats. <laughs> oh, look guys. Beautiful. So they were actually filming today. 
Hello commercial for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Look at that. Look at that. There's poo over there. This restaurant, Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree, soft open today. We did not know that till after we uh, bought food at uh, Rancho de Zocolo. I spent $65 there. I'd rather have spent it there, but we did not know that until Michelle told me after watching Five Fire's uh, story on Instagram. So we just got out of a uh, smuggler's run and the crew member said that, he said, did you know there's brakes? I'm like, what? Brakes? And then we were on the ride, we we're flying. And you know that scene where uh, he says, brakes, 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 and he just crashed? Is there actually brakes on that ride? He said, there's brakes, but I'm not gonna tell you. I need to know. How do you push the brakes on that ride? Or is he just messing with us? I need to know. <laughs> Probably messing with us. Yeah, buddy. We should watch the YouTube. Yeah, video. that's it. We're gonna YouTube it. Hopefully, someone has it online. Okay, Michelle, just Google it, and it says there is a brake system on the ride. It's gonna be on the pilot's right hold, side. Hold on. Hold on. She said, hold on. Left. Left side. So it's on your side, right? Yeah. And it's. And it's, it's what? Um, not visual. You can't see it. Yeah. It's either a button or a lever. It doesn't even want to tell me exactly what it is online, but it says yes, there is brakes. It basically wants you to figure it out. It's a button or a lever for brakes. I did not know this. This whole time we've been crashing into that box. <laughs> I gotta try it next time. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. For what? Our number has been called. We're group 205 and we're heading to the Haunted Mansion. It is. What time is it right now, babe? It is 8.56. We did our, uh, we did this at uh, 12 in the afternoon. And we finally got called. We would have earlier, but it broke down. Yeah, we would have earlier got there earlier, but the ride broke down. We waited a uh, few more hours. Uh, sir, I'm trying to record. Then don't tell me I have a big hit. <laughs> This one's Jedward, this one's Holly, that's Holly, that's Holly. Yeah. Holly. an amazing day today accomplished day we got to see Deadpool story time with Deadpool finally he and Wolverine has been out for months we finally got to see uh, go on the ride Haunted Mansion and we got an intro exit on Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway that was amazing that's happened before once to us on Alice in Wonderland like 10 years ago five years ago a long time ago the kids did not exist <laughs> and Almost 15 years ago, we got an intro X of Alice Warner Lab. Oh, and we got to see the Trick and Treat, Trick and Treat show at DCA. We got candy. It was amazing. We got candy. Wait, did we get candy? Yeah. Oh yeah, the dope chocolate. It was pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, we are done. We had to go home. And as Justice Scar says it, no, sleep. No, you okay? You're going to say that. That's his motto. You can't just I'm steal someone. Whatever. You can't take someone's motto. <laughs> we had to go home. And need some in and out. Okay, is that better? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We are the Duque family. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like our video, because we have some more fun videos coming out. Bye.